Greetings, Eric Becker. Thanks for coming back. What do you eat when you finish the Candida cleanse? What do you eat? Fish and chips? Maybe big pie? Well, it depends which direction you want to head in after you've done your cleanse. If you want the health to improve even more to a higher level, you'll stay on the diet that you finish the Candida cleanse with and you'll improve it. I can assure you one thing. Once you've kept away from ice cream and candy and crap like this for a while, you don't really want to go back to it. Especially very high sugary foods like soda drinks. They, they taste quite gross, in fact, if you've not really had them before. You walk up to someone who's never had a glass of Coke for years, give them a glass of Coca-Cola and watch their facial expression. It's like you've given them a glass of gas or petrol to drink or gasoline. That's what it's like. It's gross. All right? So the further the distance from stopping to starting the food, the more the distaste increases. That's what I find. So of course, if you haven't, if you've had that Coca-Cola regularly and you stop it for a few days, well, you're not going to notice much difference. But the longer you stop something for, the more you will notice that you know you will have an aversion towards that food. The whole idea about the Candida cleanse is to get your health, particularly your digestive system, into a very high state of health. And when that occurs, the whole body starts following suit, and it starts improving cell by cell. Every part of the organism will improve depending on the diet going forward. So let's just say you had an intention of building a really nice, big, beautiful high rise building and the intentions were good. And you started, you know, for 21 days, you're building all with good blocks. You're doing the right thing, a bit like the Candida cleanse. But then you thought, ah, oh, what the hell? I finished this cleanse thing. Let's just whatever. And then you started making it out of cans of Coca-Cola and all sorts of plastic crap up top there. How long do you think the building's gonna last? it'll fall down with the first wind, okay? Make the foundation strong and make the superstructure completely solid. And that's what your diet will do to you. It'll make your health solid, all right? Countless physicians over millennia have been talking about food is medicine and medicine is food. So the only way forward is by eating good food. So if you said to me, well, I would like to get in really good shape. And I'd say, well, you finished your cleanse. Are you gonna go back to what you did? or you're gonna improve your diet. So by continually improving the diet more and more and more, it's like painting a house or looking after a property, you know? You get it looking nice, but then slowly over time, you'll just add to it, add some more curtains or add a new lounge suite or whatever. And it's the same in your diet. You'll just keep enhancing it more and more. And you do that by trying different foods out. You'd be surprised how many people have started to eat avocados after I spoke about them quite favorably. But previously went, Bleh. I can't eat avocado, it's gross. Yuck, I'm not going to eat that. But then when they tried it and got used to it a little bit, they started to like it. There aren't any foods I don't really like to eat. And um, probably because I've tried most different foods. But yeah. So here's my take on it. After the cleanse, I would say you need to take caution, particularly going out. Okay, going to movies or going to dinner parties or wedding invitations or whatever, because this is easy for you to you know, go astray and to start going on the wrong track. Also, if you start getting into a new relationship or have friendships with people that aren't really on the same groove as you, <clears throat> they may pull you offside. The next thing you know, you'll end up with you know, a bag of nachos in your hand full of greasy, slimy, rotten cheese on it or something. So yeah, so just watch the company you keep too, because you know, there are different types of people out there. What was the question again? What do I eat after the candida cleanse? I keep going off track, don't I? I think you get the, the drift of this video by now. You need to stay on track and make the right choices. And when you make them long enough and consistently enough for weeks and months, you'll find it'll be your default nutritional setting. What has for me anyway. Take care.